Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I am Dr. Bhanojak. I am an MDS in Oral Pathology and today we will be reading about gemination. Now gemination, it is an important topic as it is asked as a short note and a specimen may be kept in practical examination. So you need to know what is gemination. So gemination, it is a developmental anomaly affecting shape of teeth, right? So it is from the chapter developmental disturbances of teeth and it's a developmental anomaly that affects the shape of the teeth. These are anomalies which arise from an attempt at division of single tooth germ by invagination with resultant incomplete formation of two teeth. Now what does that mean? That is it is an anomaly in which one single tooth germ for example if this is a tooth germ one single tooth germ there may be an attempt to divide this single tooth germ by invagination resulting in incomplete formation of two teeth so instead of one teeth two teeth incomplete formation of two teeth is there i'll show you in an image but for now it will result in a structure with two completely or incompletely separated crowns so what will we see? We will see completely or incompletely separated crowns but usually there is a single root with a root canal. Now let's see an image which will make it much more clear. So this is a structure showing uh, gemination that is there are one tooth germ it has attempted to divide into two and we can see two incompletely separated crown okay bilateral two sides gemination we can see in this image so gemination is defined as a single enlarged tooth or joint that is double tooth in which the tooth count is normal this you have to understand that the tooth count is normal why the tooth count is normal for example there are eight tooth germs on this side okay on one quadrant now one of the tooth germ it has tried to divide or invaginate so we will see uh, two teeth that are joined to each other but if this is considered as one the total number will not be changed the count will be same i am emphasizing on this because if when we will read fusion we will understand more so we have to compare it with fusion right which will be covered in the next lecture then Again, if you see this image, there are bicuspids, that is premolars, that are showing fusion. Now, if we see the x-ray, can you appreciate there are two incompletely separated crowns. Two crown structures are appearing, but they are not completely separated. A larger one unit is seen and they have a single root canal. Okay. So, gemination, it can be due to hereditary factors. It can affect deciduous as well as permanent dentition, higher frequency in the anterior and maxillary region and as I told you we need to understand what is fusion. It sometimes we will get confused between germination and fusion. Difficulty to differentiate germination from fusion of a normal and supernumerary tooth. Don't worry about this. When we will read fusion you will understand it more what I am talking about. Okay. Coming to one more term which is sometimes asked not usually asked right that is twinning now twinning is more complete than gemination if there is division and two separate uh, tooth structures are formed formed that it is more complete it's more complete that is a single tooth germ will divide and it will lead to formation of two structures then it will be twinning it results in formation of two separate teeth that is production of equivalent structures by division that is from one tooth germ. One tooth germ is dividing. Resulting in one normal and one supernumerary tooth. You just need to know what is twinning. Twinning is when there is more complete division. And which will lead to formation of one normal and one supernumerary tooth. So I hope this video helped you to understand gemination and twinning. If it was helpful, subscribe to my channel for more dental videos. And for images. The book link is given below in the description box. Thank you.